All right, guys, KB32 here checking out. I'm sitting here at my desk. I'm getting ready to do a video on Joe Biden and how he is further dividing the country with that thing that he did. It reminds me a lot of uh, the new order from Star Wars. Well, in any case, uh, before we do that, I wanted to uh, deliver some information you may or may not like. Uh, hopefully you don't like it. But uh, anyway, um, James Yeager passed away last night. Uh, he was probably one of the first YouTube channels, gun tubers, that I ever followed. Um, not necessarily for his experience or anything else, but he was a character, man. He was a hell of a character. Uh, he has said some controversial stuff on his YouTube channel. He's been on 60 Minutes, said some controversial things. Uh, he's made a lot of friends, a lot of enemies. Uh, but I have always found that every time I approached him, and I, we, we, we hang out, the YouTubers, um, the first time I physically met him was down at the IV-88 shoot, and uh, I will tell you this, he was so welcoming and cordial that it, it was just amazing. And the next time I saw him was down at SHOT Show, and he walked up to me and said, hey, Coda. So it was one of those guys that, you know, you could be a, a, someone who was small channel, large channel. He was always a friend of us. Um, so with that being said, he, he passed away from uh, his difficulties with ALS last night, uh, Richard Elby. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't matter if I mind if I use his last name. He was really good friends with James. Uh, spent a lot of time with him at Tactical Response, and uh, uh, Richard's a friend of mine. He just called me and told me, and I just said, I, I, "They got a video up now, you know, with with a letter that he wrote." I can't bring myself to watch it, man. It's just going to tear me up. I just lost another friend of mine to a drunk driver uh, this last weekend. All right, so with that, James, rest in peace, my friend. May God greet you with open arms. Um, all right, so let's talk about this. The Joe Biden speech last night. I got through about 10, maybe 12 minutes of it before I had to basically turn it off. It was probably the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. And guys, be honest with you, he is doing this on a taxpayer dollars. And what he's doing it is the guys is trying to say, if we don't stop these MAGA Republicans, we will lose our democracy. You will lose your freedoms. You will lose this. You will lose that. And nowhere do we ever say we want to take anything from you. We just want our lives and to live by the Constitution. For example, I have all these people in my neighborhood who says, we believe in Black Lives Matter and no, no person's illegal and blah, 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 blah. Okay, I want to put in my yard, Constitution. Bang, done. That's it. So when they say we want to take away your constitutional rights, no, we want to... Uh, adhere to the constitutional rights. We want elections to be free and held in a, uh, a, a, a point where they are legitimate and not where you're able to dispense mail-in ballots to everybody and to 15,000 dead people. That's what we want. We want you to quit messing around. Quit dividing this country, Joe. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let's do something right now. Uh, he has nothing to, to go with. I mean, he's at a 33% approval rating. And I know I want to know who these people are that are, are, are proven of him. It's kind of sick. But in any case, uh, well, let's see. Uh, the gross domestic product is the uh, lowest it's ever been or the highest. It's the worst it's ever been. Uh, inflation is the worst it's ever been. Gas prices have never been higher. Uh, unemployment. So he's saying that we've got the greatest unemployment rate ever. Well, dude, that's what happens when you put 20 million people out of work because of COVID and you slowly, gradually quit paying them to stay home. They got to go back to work, jackass. So please don't take credit for that. And now, now they're sitting around and they're trying to blame Trump for every single little thing they can. For some reason, they can't run on their own merits because there are none. They have to go after Trump for some reason because he will most likely be the candidate coming up. I'd like to see DeSantis or somebody else. Uh, but, you know, they can't run on their own merits. That Jean Pierre lady, she's a complete and total asshole lying thing. And it's just disgusting what they have done to our country in the last couple of days, in the last year and a half. So, what's going to happen? Well, they're going to lie, cheat, and steal the best they know how. And if they continue to doing what they're doing, and they're pushing way too hard, they are pushing the limits, they're pushing the heartstrings on a lot of patriots in this country. And what will eventually happen is these patriots are going to stand up and get sick and tired of being pushed around. And the, what is it we say, the, the quiet will rise. And that's what I think is getting ready to happen. 
So that speech was the most disgusting separation of, of a group of people. What do you want, Joe? You want everybody to go around and start beating MAGA people up because they're so evil and they threaten our democracy? No, sir. What they want to do is they want to uphold the Constitution as it was written and understood by our founding fathers, not interpreted. It's like a game of chess. All right? You've got uh, a pawn. You can't just say all of a sudden the pawn. Well, I want to change the rules in the mid-game and say I want to put the pawn all the way over here. It doesn't work that way. There's a rule of life. The rule of law, jackass. Please don't do that. You're down there raiding people's homes. You've, you've militarized the FBI, weaponized. You've weaponized the IRS. You've weaponized the ATF to start just randomly going after people who are in opposition of you. I'm waiting any day now for those guys to show up at my door. I've already told my wife exactly what to do. You notice there's nothing sitting up behind me right now. So with that, guys, Joe Biden is the worst thing that has ever happened to this country. His administration is the worst thing that has ever happened. His entire cabinet is the worst thing that has ever happened to this country. The borders are out of control. The military is out of control. You know why nobody wants to go into the military now? Look at the leadership. It's disgusting. With that being said, guys, <laughs> I always end them like this. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, man. Uh, God bless you, Jim. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who uphold our Constitution as written by our founding fathers. And I'm, I want you, before somebody gives you an unlawful order, you have a duty to the people of the United States and the Constitution to say no. 24-7 for our freedom is freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support the red, white. Oh, it's already said that. Subscribe and have already done so. Give it a thumbs up, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm distraught right now. Because we have a guy that wants to sit up there and it looks like he should have a swastika behind him with the way he talks. True fascism, you saw it in that speech. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Boom.